Okay, I now want to talk about one of my favorite topics, and that is the seasonal cycle of primary productivity. Because for me, this is where we really get to express the interaction between physical factors, biological factors, and chemical factors. We begin to see how physical, chemical, and biological processes work together in the ocean. And essentially, it's one of the best examples that I can think of, of how the ocean works as a system. When we examine what happens to the water column through the seasonal cycle as a result of physical changes, both light and uh, the mixed layer depth, so vertical mixing, as a result also of chemical processes and the availability of biologically important nutrients, and of course, the phytoplankton themselves and all of those kinds of things. So let's take a look at this. It really incorporates information and concepts from these chapters, chapters 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. And some of these chapters we haven't talked about yet, but in many ways, this particular process and an understanding of this process, again, as I said, helps you understand how the ocean works as a system. And it really is a perfect example of that. What we're going to talk about this seasonal cycle of primary productivity really also is the one that helps drive ocean food webs. And we'll talk about this subject a little bit later on when we get into chapter 14 and talk about ocean food webs.